The biochemistry of our body derives from our awareness. In other words, a belief-informed awareness becomes our biochemistry. Every minuscule cell in our body is entirely and perfectly cognizant of our feelings, ideas, and beliefs. The following are seven things that you can do to change negative beliefs and imbibe new positive beliefs that will help you live your best life. The first is to be self-aware. Self-awareness is a key factor in discovering areas in your life where you need to change and understanding exactly how to affect the needed transformations. The awareness that we are part of an ever-changing world that constantly interacts with one another gives us the key to unlocking the enormous power within us. It is our awareness of this astonishing truth that alters everything. When we experience this awareness, we can transform ourselves from passive onlookers to influential creators. Our beliefs provide us the script to write or rewrite the code of our reality. You can become self-aware by paying sincere and honest attention to the thoughts that run through your mind and your reactions to situations. The second thing that you can do is to challenge your current beliefs. Perceptual modifications are the preconditions for altering our beliefs and modifying our body's biochemistry favorably. Our inherent fascination and willingness to discover and develop lead to renewed perceptions. When we intentionally allow ourselves to experience new perceptions by seeking new experiences or learning new skills, our bodies can also respond differently. That is the secret to growth. Intentionally consider the kinds of thoughts that you have to see how accurate your beliefs actually are. When you do, you will be able to identify false beliefs. After identifying these false beliefs, engage in things that make you feel worthwhile. Venture outside of your comfort zone. Force yourself to do something challenging and prove that you are capable of great things. The third thing that you can do is to understand your environmental influences. When we subconsciously cling to deep rooted beliefs, our minds continuously look for evidence to validate and strengthen them. A person's environment is the summation of the realities and associations around them. It plays a vital role in what you think and who you eventually become. You need to realize if you are in an unhealthy environment that doesn't provide you with empowering beliefs. If so, take the appropriate steps to change your circumstances and associations. By their very nature, our beliefs can be either empowering or restricting. Restricting or negative beliefs thwart us from fulfilling our true potential, hold us back, and advance harmful thoughts and emotions. On the other hand, empowering or positive beliefs enable us to act with resilience, have faith in ourselves, and conjure positive thoughts and feelings. No matter what you are told, ensure that it is only those things that help you to become better that you believe and hold on to. Fourth, exchange self-pity for self-compassion. When we experience self-pity, it goes beyond healthy sadness. By feeling sorry for yourself, you magnify your adversity and experience a sense of both helplessness and hopelessness. This creates an unhealthy cycle. On the other hand, self-compassion permits oneself to see the interconnected experiences of self and others without isolation and disconnection. With self-compassion, you do not need to feel better than others to feel good about yourself. Self-compassion provides greater self-clarity because individual failings can be recognized with kindness, not resentment. Moreover, self-compassion isn't conditional on what may happen to us externally. It is available whenever you need it, especially when you fall flat on your face. The fifth thing that we can do is learn to adapt to new situations. Change is all around us and is an inevitable constant in all our lives. Sometimes we can control it, but the reality is most of the time we cannot. The circumstances of our lives simply change and unfortunately not always for the better. It is our ability to adapt to these changes that ultimately defines us. When you fail to adapt, you become incapable of navigating your way through change and making the most of it with impact. You must learn to adapt to whatever environment that 
that you are in. Believe in yourself and focus on the impact that you can make regardless of what your current condition, title, or stature is. The sixth thing that you can do is make your choices intentional. The humanitarian author and Holocaust survivor, Viktor Frankl, once said, everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. Remember that you can make your own choices and intentionally exercise that ability to choose healthy and empowering beliefs. The seventh thing that you can do is to love and accept yourself. Realize that the type of relationship that you have with yourself will determine whether or not you will have positive beliefs that will help you become your best self. Reminding yourself of what's important, your partner, family, friends, beliefs, health, great music, creativity, and so on can form a surprisingly potent buffer against whatever troubles may be ailing you. For example, if you value and appreciate yourself, you will believe that you are talented, competent, and deserving of love and success. However, if you don't, you won't be able to believe in yourself enough to recognize and seize the opportunities that are right in front of you. So in whatever situation you may be, make sure that you love and accept yourself first. And if you want more information on this topic, I released a full episode on self-acceptance, which was episode 133.